centrifugal barrel finishing machine here and it is different than a typical vibratory tumbler. A part that would typically take about eight hours in a, in a vibratory tumbler, we can do in about a half an hour in our machine. It's a much cleaner process, controlled. We've got, we've got all different shapes of media. We can use triangles, we can use cone, ceramic, plastic, corn cob. Um, whatever finish we're trying to accomplish is the type of media that we'll use. Um, so in this machine, we can go ahead and open the door on it it's a very quiet process. We've got four different barrels, if you want to rotate them. This is very slow motion, but it gives a demonstration. Those spin while the drums spin it the other direction, just like that. That happens all at the same time at a very high rate of speed. And that's what creates the 10 to 15 Gs against the parts that is able to be burrow at a high rate of speed. What we have here is a coffee nozzle. And we put it into our machine to achieve a very bright polished so that it can go onto a coffee machine. So this is, you know, we've got a welded piece here. We've welded this on, we've welded this on. So you can see it's kind of a rough finish here. We put it into our machine. We're going to run it through a cone process to smooth all the surfaces. And then we're going to put it through a corn cob that turns bright and shiny. So we're going to have Brad go ahead and take out the very finalized piece. Some processes are wet, some processes are dry. In this particular one, the corn cob accomplishes a bright, shiny finish. We used to have to polish them by hand. We'd have hours and hours into doing these by hand, um, and you get a very inconsistent process. So this is, we go through two phases. The first phase is the plastic. Uh, we put a cap here and a cap here to keep the media out of it. Um, and that, what that does is smooth out the entire surface. So that's phase one. Depending what part we put in there, we do cap them. So that we don't, we put a cap on here because we want to keep a nice sharp edge. So we keep the nice sharp edge here and a nice sharp edge here for the insulation because it'll go on top of the coffee pot like that and then the coffee actually comes out of here. And then once it comes out of that, that first phase, it comes out of that cone, then we put it into the dry process of the corn cob. They do get hot. In the corn cob process, we don't have to have it capped because it doesn't remove any material. But that's a final piece. There's no more work to it. We can ship it, we'll clean it up, we'll, we'll wash them. But other than that, that's a finished part. So it'll spend about an hour in the machine. It takes about 15 minutes to change it over. But then he, Brad can walk away, go do something else for an hour while the machine's running for an hour and polishing it versus having um, a human sitting there at the polishing machine or at the polishing wheel and spending a couple of hours trying to polish it. And even at that way to get an inconsistent process, you'll get lines, you'll get divots. We bought this machine in 2007. Uh, so we've had it now just a little over five years. Um, now we can't imagine life without it. Before we had this, we would have, in this particular part, we would have to polish it by hand on a polishing wheel, the polishing sticks. Um, so you'd have hours and hours into this. The original reason that we bought it was for a deburring application. We had a unit um, for the military defense contract that we would spend about eight hours deburring. And we were able to accomplish it with about an hour of hour in the tumbler and about an hour of handwork afterwards. So we took it from eight hours to two hours. So this machine was able to pay for itself within about six months. And we bought it just for the one part and now we use it for, I don't know, probably 50 different part numbers now. I do know a lot of machine shops in the industry, and I do not know of anybody that has a centrifugal barrel finishing machine. Um, we have been able to reduce our deburring, improve our polishing processes. We're able to get a consistent product every single time, um, which is not possible in any other machine shop that I've seen in the deburring and the finishing aspect, because they're using a, a manual method, so you're always going to have missed spots, you're going to have, um, you know, Brad's maybe heavy handed, more heavy handed than I am, so his are going to come out more deburred than mine. Um, it's a very inconsistent process to do it by hand. So we've been able to, with our centrifugal barrel machine, we've been able to accomplish a consistent product just like a machine. You, know, you always get the same product every single time, we're able to accomplish that with ours. So we're running aluminum, stainless, titanium, plastic. We've actually discovered um, on a plastic handle that we make for a surgical instrument, it doesn't accomplish anything other than change the appearance of the plastic, 
and they like how the tumbled appearance looks and nobody else can accomplish that because they don't have the same machine and same materials that we have. We are running surgical instruments, we're running military defense, we are running um, parts that are used in the scanning electron microscope industry, uh, coffee nozzles of course, uh, the actual camera that they use if you're going to have surgery and they go inside of your uh, body cavity to do the surgery, they always have to run a camera in there. But we run it through our tumbler to get the nice smooth surface so that it can go through the autoclave. This is one of the more difficult ones that we've had to run through the machine. Um, there's a whole lot of stitching marks that go onto this part. Um, so we have a lot of tool mark stitching to go around all of the radiuses that we have. So that's camera housing. We also have, here it has to remain a sharp edge because we put a connector here. Connector here it requires laser welding and that has to be completely hermetically sealed because that is what goes through the autoclave in the surgical environment. So we did have to develop a masking feature to mask these two sections off to remain sharp. So we run through a very, very aggressive ceramic um, step here that will take all of the stitching marks that we had and make it completely smooth. And then we go through and we laser engrave it to put our customer's logo on it. It takes about an hour. But in order to do it by hand, we'd probably have three hours into it if we would have done it by hand. So, so that's probably one of our more complicated parts to put through the tumbler. This machine runs 12 to 16 hours a day, five days a week. Yeah, we have a 30,000 square foot machine shop going into 50,000 square feet. We will not have to add another tumbler because we can run it three shifts a day if we need to. We could probably double our production through the machine and still keep the same uh, centrifugal barrel machine. By bringing this machine in, no one lost their job. Uh, what we've been able to do is, over the five years, our sales have gone up significantly, while the number of, the, of our finishing people has remained the same, or they've been deployed out into the shop uh, to work on the machines. So I would never say that we've ever, it would, has replaced anybody's jobs, but if we didn't have this machine, we'd probably have to have three additional people in the department. Thank you.